Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jupiter James and this is where I do what I want when I want and today I want to talk about astrology. More specifically, Venus through the houses. Um, this is going to be uh, the second part to my Planets Through the Houses series. Um, I did Sun previously and now I'm talking about my second favorite planet which is Venus. Venus is the energy or the planet of grace. It's the planet of ease and blessings in a way, um, but more so grace and ease and charm. It is also where things come a little bit more naturally to you and where, you know, you've been gifted with a talent in a certain area of your birth chart. So wherever Venus is in the birth chart or throughout the houses is going to be where you have been either blessed, graced, or gifted with a talent that you have. So let's get into it. Venus in the first house is going to be someone who has been given the grace of beauty. Like you have been blessed with beauty and um, you also extend others grace because with Venus in the first house of yourself and who you are, you are always going to be someone who whenever you come on the scene, you never want to rock the boat. If there is an argument or if there is tension with someone, you are someone that will smooth it over and sometimes at your detriment. This could be someone who could lean into people pleasing territories because with Venus in your first house, again, someone could kind of do you wrong and it is in you to make things in the situation better or harmonious or easy. And so you are a very graceful person. You extend grace to others and you never want to rock the boat. You probably say sorry even when you don't need to say sorry and you are probably a very beautiful person inside and out. Like you are very beautiful um, and aesthetically beautiful. You keep your appearance up in a very beautiful way. You are pleasing to the eye is what I'm saying. So you've been blessed with beauty. How does it feel to be a Venus in the first house? It must feel nice and you must be very beautiful whether inside or outside or both. How lucky, how lucky it is to be a Venus in the first house, sir. So moving on to the second house. Venus in the second house is going to be someone who has been gifted or talented in the area of cultivating and receiving money. For some reason or another, you always find yourself in situations or in a lifestyle that brings you money. Like money just comes easy to you. Maintaining money comes easy to you. Security comes easy to you. You are talented and gifted and have been given grace by the universe to be able to be so rich. <laughs> <laughs> not rich, but you can cultivate money very easily and, and money is not something that is hard for you And if it's not money, it's stability and security. Security comes very easy to you and um, You've been blessed in that area. You probably also love to share your money as well You probably are someone who gives your money away to causes and humanitarian efforts and um, Charity like you are you've been blessed in the money area. So lucky you can 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 I have some can can I can you just, my links are below. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. Okay, so with third house, Venus in the third house is gonna be someone who um, you've been gifted in the area of your speech and your thoughts and your communication. So when you communicate, people listen. When you communicate, people go, oh my God, that person has such an eloquent way of speaking. That person is so um, nice to listen to. You, you you probably can sing. Like singing is um, something that probably comes easy to you or if you try to sing, you can probably sing if you try. But more so, this gives me very much like politician vibes or lawyer vibes, right? Where their speech and what they say has to land on ears and it needs to be received in a well-meaning way and so You've been very gifted. Like, you can probably talk yourself out of anything. Like, you can probably talk yourself out of the most impossible situations, all because you have Venus in the third house. And when you talk, people listen. You're very charming with your words. You're very cunning with your words. You're very eloquent, and you just sound beautiful. And you're probably, you just have a way of communicating and expressing yourself that is very one of a kind and beautiful. And so that would be Venus in the third house. Oh, you're probably also a charmer and a really big flirt as well. <laughs> All right, so fourth house, fourth house, um, Venus. With Venus in the fourth house, this is gonna mean that you have been blessed with a very beautiful private life. Who you are behind closed doors when no one sees you is, you probably have a very beautiful home and the life that you live when no one's looking is very, very beautiful. You 
probably have a very beautiful apartment, a very beautiful home. Um, um, a, a very, your home is also probably very aesthetically pleasing. You to, for you to find a home, you like say it was New York City summertime and it was time for you to find an apartment somewhere, you find an apartment. You have never been in a situation where it's been hard for you to find somewhere to stay because for you, the universe has gifted you the, the blessing of ease. And so in this area of your home, you in real estate, you are always gifted with it being easy to find somewhere to stay. Like, like without you even trying, you just find somewhere to stay. Like you always lay on your feet as far as your housing situation. And so that's gonna be um, Venus in the fourth house. How does, it, how does it feel to always have a home when you need it? How does it feel to have a beautiful home? How does it feel that when you are home that like things just go easy for you? How, how does that feel? How does that feel? <laughs> you you wanna come decorate my apartment? It means it. <laughs> okay, so with fifth house Venus, Venus in the fifth house is gonna be someone who has been graced with the gift of expression. You have been graced with the gift of dating. You have, you probably have a very charming and magnificent dating life. Like you just love to date and you love to be out on the town and in the nightlife and in the scene and you are a very expressive person and who you are and your creativity, this gives me very much like artist vibes. You are an artist vibe. You're probably a womanizer or a man eater or whatever her, you know, like you are that person. You're very charming when you go on a date. You're very harmonious and beautiful when you are out dating and, and out on the scene with your friends or creating something. Like this gives me very much like, what does this give me? This gives me very much like, gigolo vibes like you know hot like you're just hot like and you know it and like others know it and people want to date you and you probably always have a suitor lined up you probably always have a prospecting person that wants to either go out with you hang out with you like people just want you out and you sh you i don't want to say shine because that's getting into sun territory but when you are out on the scene and out in nightlife and with your friends out to dinner or dating or creating or being creative you just it just you you're the most beautiful you're the most gracious like you are probably extremely creative and just awesome so yeah how, how does it feel to be the bee's knees how, how does it feel to go on these dates and woo these people how does it feel how how did that feel i want to know because you know i'm sick of hinge and I'm sure for you, you don't even need Hinge. You just go outside and people are like, hey, what's up? Like, hi, hey, you wanna go on a date? <laughs> so that is gonna be Fifth House Venus. So with Sixth House Venus, Venus in the Sixth House is gonna be someone who, who you, when you, okay, you have got your schedule down pat. Like, you probably wake up at 6 a.m., you have your green juice, you have a beautiful schedule, a very easy schedule. Your schedule on the day-to-day -day is not hard. Like, and if it is hard, you've been blessed with the gift and the talent of being able to manage it. Like, you you're you probably have a very easy day-to-day. -day. Your work life is very easy. Your 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 life is just I don't want to say easy, but your day-to-day -day, um, nine to five schedule or your schedule just in general, whether it be like you waking up, going to work, going to the gym, doing your thing just comes so easy to you. And you are probably so good at knowing um, how much time you have during a day and like what you need to do. Like it just comes easy to you. It's so natural for you to wake up at a certain hour and eat certain things and be on a diet. Like a diet for you comes easy. Like you, again, you have been graced by the universe with the gift and the talent of having an easy flowing schedule. And if it's not easy flowing, then you know how to manage it. You're good in that area. You are okay. Like you're like, I got this. Like this is easy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. So I ask you, how does it feel to be like the ultimate fucking like person who is who, who's got their life down pat? Like, can can you be my life coach? Can you help me out because? I can't get up past noon. Like, no, I'm just kidding. I can't get up before noon is what I'm saying. No, I'm kidding, I'm kidding, I'm kidding. But yeah, um, that is six house Venus. Um, congrats on that. So with seven house Venus, this is like, 
it's kind of at home here in a way because seventh house being the sign of Libra and it's ruled by Venus, Venus is at home in the seventh house because Venus at the end of the day is all about interconnection and intermingling and relationship and love at the end of the day, right? So for you, this is gonna be someone who, let's see, it's like you are someone who you love relationships. You are probably a very charming person. You are someone who probably has a lot of friends and a lot of connections and a lot of business partnerships. You are someone who, like, when you, it, like, you by yourself is good, but you with someone else is even better. Like, you really, really, really are such a people person. You are, you thrive in relationships. Like, you can get along with an ax murderer. You can, <laughs> you can get along with just about anyone. And like, you are just so graceful and people love you. And like, like people want to be in relations with you, you know? So yeah, that is going to be um, seventh house Venus. How does it feel to have so many friends? How does it feel to have people just love you and want to be in connection with you and want to have you sign on the dotted line? Like, how does that feel? You probably are also someone who's also never not been in a relationship. The, am, I, am I wrong or am I right? <laughs> All right, so with eighth house Venus, this is gonna be very much sugar baby vibes. Like, either you are a sugar baby, a sex worker, um, a sugar baby, a sex worker, or a person who is getting a large inheritance, whether it be now or later. But for you, getting other people's resources or having others take care of you is very, very easy. Like, you probably grew up in a home where your parents gave you money, and even as you have gone out and ventured out of your home, your parents still support you or take care of you in one way or another, or that, whether that be they give you money or just from assets from the family that you grow up in, like, you're just, you've been blessed in that area of being taken care of from other people's resources. And you are also probably someone that in the midst of transformation, in the darkest times, you kind of thrive. Like you love deep and dark, intense relationships with others. And you yourself are really good with transforming yourself. You're really good at, um, at using your sexual nature to get what you want. And like, you're very, very powerful in that area. Like, so yeah, you, this, that's why I say it gives me very much like sugar baby vibes, sex worker vibes, um, and inheritance vibes or rich family takes care of you vibes. Like you are just like, Hey, I'm hot. I, I use what God has blessed me with and I get what I want. Like that is, that's Venus in the, the eighth house. Yeah, I, I'm, how does that feel? How does that feel to be so darn sexy and enticing and intense and like people just wanna take care of you. People just wanna help you. People also wanna just come to you and divulge their secrets and like you were just like, tell me your secrets, but I'm gonna get something out of it too. Tell me what you want, but I'm gonna get something out of it too. <laughs> how does that feel? Okay. So with Ninth House Venus, this is gonna be someone who has been gifted and graced with the talent of philosophy. You are very good with um, teaching others and being an example for others. You, this gives me very much like college professor vibes or writer vibes. This You can be a writer of philosophy or, or higher truths and higher meanings. When you travel, you are the most beautiful. When you travel, to different lands and different cultures, you are just so well received. People love you for some reason. Like, and you probably also can't tell a lie. Like you are probably so truthful and so honorable that like for you to lie sometimes, even when you should lie to not hurt people's feelings, you you can't. Like, but but you have never told the truth in a way that has been brash or mean. Like you you tell when you tell the truth, people listen and they receive it and they know that it's coming from a good place because with Venus in a Sagittarius ruled house of truth, like you're gonna be graceful. Remember, wherever Venus is, it, it Venus can take the ugliest things and transmute it and make it good. So you could be telling someone the most hurtful thing that is truthful, right? And, but the way you spin it, the way you say it, 
will come off so easy that people are able to receive the truth in the way you see it. So that's why I say this is very much like if you wanted to write a book on philosophy, if you wanted to write a book on your life or the greater truths of the world, you really could. And like, you'd probably make a lot of financial gains from it if you tried. Like, you, you'd really, I'd really encourage you to do that if that is something on your mind. Or a blogger, like I could see this being very much like travel walk blogger vibes or um, just like, Someone who teaches people about the world and like bigger truths of the world. So yeah, that how, how does that feel? How does that feel to like be a college professor that everyone wants to listen to or someone that is very philosophical and you just get it, like you just get it. I would love to talk to you one day, you know, like you, you really just get the deeper meanings of the world and the, the higher truths of the world, like and of life, of life in general. So yeah. That is ninth house in Venus. So with 10th house in Venus, this is gonna be someone who has been gifted with the, with the talent and the grace of being able to make money from their career very easily and careers come to you very easily. Like um, you can find, like it's not hard for you to find a job. Like for you to find a job is, everyone wants to hire you. You are the most hireable person on the planet. Like. People want to hire you and align you with their jobs and their missions and because you just show up so beautifully and like people want to be around that and how you also show up in the public because the 10th house is equally job and public sector. Like 10th house is like who you are to the world and what since it's at the top of your chart, people can see it more easily. And so you, who you are, even when you're not at work, people just see you as a beautiful, just so graceful out in the open and like in the world. And you know, you just, people wanna hire you. People think you are beautiful, but there is also, because Venus is so high up in the chart, who you are, even though you're graceful, can be very far away. So this gives me very much like celebrity vibes or influencer vibes or just someone who people see and they admire, but it's from afar. Like it, people know you when they see you, but they can't get to you. They can't grasp you. They can't, but you still are communicating with them. You're still like talking to them and you, who you are is expressed to them and people receive you as a nice, beautiful, graceful person and they want to know you but you're just too, you're too, you're all, it's like removed. You're too, you're, you're not attainable. You're not that, you're not attainable. It's something about you that is just not attainable. So it would require you to kind of go after others so that they feel comfortable enough because with Venus in a Capricorn chart, people can get this sense about you that your standards are very high, that people just know like, wow, like, what is it gonna take to get this person like me? Like, because if they, just, they can smell the Capricorn 10th house energy on you. You are of such high quality, like, so, yeah. <laughs> that is gonna be, how, how does it feel to like, have people admire you from afar but too scared to come up to you? How does it feel to have jobs want to hire you? And how does it feel to get jobs easily and ascend the corporate ladder very easily. You can probably make your way in your job so up the ladder very easily. Like you get promoted like that. Like you just get promoted like that, you know? So how does that feel? How does that feel? Okay, so with 11th house, with 11th house Venus, this is gonna be someone who has a lot of friends. You have a lot of friends and you probably are also someone who is involved with very much like humanitarian efforts or a very big organization, or you are someone who is able to help the collective in some way, shape or form. Like you show up, this gives me very much like blue cross vibes, like someone who is doing something for the whole or for the better of the world and humanity at large. And like you just help people and you have a lot of friends and you have, you have a lot of networks. Like you have a lot of networks, like a lot of powerful connections with people in big organizations and just in general. And so your life will also probably get easier in the later part of your life because the 11th house is your dreams and your wishes. And so, yeah, like you're probably working towards that or you already have that. If you just really open your eyes, I'm sure you have very powerful connections around you. And like, yeah, how does that feel? <laughs> 
So with 12 House Venus, this is gonna be someone who has been gifted and graced and, and blessed in the area of um, being psychic or spirituality or occultism. And, and like your love is also probably very um, far away. Like love is probably hard for you to access in a way, but you do know that for you, spirituality is easy for you. Spirituality is easy, tangible love is hard. And what I will say is that you will, because I always like to give hope, you know, it would be so mean of me to be like, oh, your love is far away. All right, that was the end of our video. Your love is far away, but your love is all in a foreign land or in somewhere that you have not grown up in. That's tip number one. Tip number two, your partner is probably gonna be an equally spiritual person as you are. They need to be spiritual, they need to be a Pisces, they need to have some type of Piscean and or spiritual energy about them in order for it to work. If they are not spiritual or not someone who is adept in spirituality, it's not gonna work. You need to find someone who is either all three of those things, which is far away from your home where you live, in another country, or spiritual, or all three of those, or a Pisces, or all four of those. A combination or an amalgamation of that, that's what you need. Otherwise, it's intangible. It's its like you're spiritually very good, you know? Wow. Speaking of Venus. <laughs> all right, that was my Venus Through the Houses video. Stay tuned, I'm gonna have more in-depth videos coming up soon, but right now I'm just laying down the foundations for those that are just getting into astrology. For those that need a birth chart reading, a career and destiny reading, a love and soulmate reading, um, astro counseling where I can go in depth into what your triggers are and what your specific karmic destiny and karmas that you need to work through are, hit my links below. I would love to help you and I'm sure the stars have a solution for you. Um, I love y'all and I'll see y'all on the next one, all right? Y'all have a great day, bye.